Hello everyone, welcome to video number two in the four video series. Remember on video number one, we talked about supply and demand. You know the number one question I think uh, it would be safe to say that we get is when is the bubble gonna burst? And, and um, there is really no bubble. We really have an economic situation that's based on supply and demand in that the demand is, is high or it's remaining the same and the supply is not happening. And what that's doing is creating an effect where where the market is shifting. And that's what we're going to talk about today in the second video right here is we're going to talk about the bookends. And by the bookends, I'm going to be talking about each end of the market uh, for the Boise metro area again. Uh, remember, that's just referring to Micron to Middleton. That includes Boise, Meridian, Eagle, CUNA, all the cities, Caldwell, you know, Nampa, all of them are included. But we're going to divide it up today and we're going to talk about it as Ada County, Canyon County, and we're going to look at how things are shifting as a result of our supply and demand problem. So let's start with Ada County. Okay, we're going to put a graphic up right next to my head here and give us the information because we're going to be looking at a lot of it over the next few moments. All right, you notice that here is Ada County's bookends. We've divided the market into two parts. We're looking at the entry level, if you will, and the upper level. Entry level would be the area or price range that someone would look at if they're wanting to enter into the home ownership market for Ada County, the Boise area. And that's where it was in 2019. And then we're looking at the upper level in 2019 and years following. Uh, this would be the highest area of activity not necessarily the most expensive houses in ada county this would instead be the the highest price range where regular activity happens where on a regular basis homes are being bought it could be monthly weekly but it's not just a onesie twosie it's it happens regularly so let's start 2019 you could have bought a house entry level 200 to 300 thousand isn't that a crazy thought your basic mortgage. Now this is principal and interest. If we were including taxes, insurance, they would tack on another $125, $250 a month, but it was, it was only $1,055. The thought of a mortgage around 12 to 1300 a month and a house with options to buy two years ago. In 2019, the upper end was 600 to 800,000. There was some million dollar sales, but it was Wednesday, Tuesday. 2020, 250 to 350 was the, the predominant entry level range. Mortgage, 1310. Sure, it was competitive, but there was options, and still 1310, pretty good for us. 2020, 800 to a million. Now there wasn't a lot of million sales; it was probably more closer to eight to 950. But there was some activity, and you can see that it's moving up. 2021, 350 to 500 thousand would be the entry level. Notice what happened there? We went from 100 thousand to 150 thousand, so it's gotten broader for an average buyer to get involved in purchasing or having owning a home in our market. The most shocking, the average mortgage payment, seventeen ninety, dollars And we add on taxes and insurance, we're in the $1,800 to $2,000 per month range for an entry level real estate purchase in our market. And the upper end in 2021, it's gone over a million. That's a lot of movement in a short amount of time, two years. And we saw over $700 in monthly mortgage expense. Now granted, in, you know, interest rates in that whole time have fluctuated, but honestly, in the last two years, interest rates have been historic lows. So for our example, I use the same interest rate, but let's take it to Canyon County and you'll see something very similar. In Canyon County in 2019, 150 to 250 was our entry level with an 850, 860, excuse me, mortgage. In 2019, upper end, 400 to 500, the upper level real estate there. 2020, there was 200 to 300,000 was 1055 for your monthly mortgage payment and then 500 to 600 was the upper le upper level of that market in 2021 250 to 350 1310 is now our principal and interest mortgage payment that's an increase of 450 bucks in 2 years and we see that again on the upper level even in Canyon County going to 600 and 800,000 and that's going to keep rising as well all this movement, we can see that there's some important things happening that we want to take note of and talk about even just a bit more. Okay, let's consider this, the economic aspects of this. We've seen that there's been an increase in real estate values. and it's, It takes more to enter into the real estate market and it continues to go up at both ends of the bookends, meaning the entry level is rising as well as the other end and the upper level is rising. So it's going to take more money to purchase real estate. What's happened as an economic factor, and, and 
the Boise metro area, let's just say our valley. Well, let's look specifically at Ada County. In Ada County in 2019, the average household income was $63,137. And in 2020, it went up to 66,405. Not sure what 2021 is yet. I'm sure those numbers will come out quickly, but that was only a half of a percent increase in one year's time. So if it did that again, we've increased maybe 1% in a two year period as far as wages for employees or household income. While at the same time, the average mortgage cost or the home ownership cost for a financed buyer uh, it increased 41%. That's a huge difference. And it's definitely going to continue to create hardship for first time home buyers. And it's also going to create hardship for our, the entire economy as just the overall costs of home ownerships are going up. So keep in mind, this doesn't mean that home ownership is now out of the question. It just means there's more things to consider now. There's more things to look at. It does mean that if you already own real estate and you've purchased real estate in the last five years or more, maybe even three years or more, you're sitting in a great position. The supply and demand challenges have created a great appreciation for you. And there's probably options that you could still look at. For a buyer, don't give up. I would not give up. There are still a lot of opportunities for you to become a homeowner. What is gonna be more important, more important now than ever before is to make sure that you have a solid plan for how you're going to go after your next home. And we'd love to help you with that, of course. Supply and demand. That's our economic factor that's affecting our market significantly. Shifting bookends, meaning that it's continually getting harder to enter the market and it's getting harder to stay in the market, meaning move ups, things like that are getting more and more expensive. And next week, next video, we're gonna talk about the butterfly effect all these bottlenecks that are created because the only way to collect, correct a supply and demand problem is to increase supply. So why is that not happening for us? That's coming next. See you in the next video.